All right. Hey. Hello, everybody. We are back water on back beam. Friday's radio, Friday and start with Andre Ratzley. And it rocks. Sauerkraut über alles. All music is the same. It's just a new set of lyrics and a new backbeat. Andre Graziati here for Backbeat Experience in a chat today with Backwater, fantastic band out of Switzerland. Please introduce yourself. I am Boris from Backwater, guitar player. Boris? Michel, bass player. Christian, drummer. Fred, guitar. And Mark, for the scene. <laughs> vocals. 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 Yeah. So, so tell me, what's, what's it like, what's the, what's the Swiss rock scene like? I mean, you guys come from Switzerland, what's yeah. the Swiss rock scene there like? Uh, well, obviously, you got legendary bands like Crocus or Gotthard, yeah. that are the main hard rock acts in Switzerland. And then, some different bands behind them trying to explode, you know, <laughs> trying to give uh, and uh, trying to bring back some good old bluesy hard rock on stage in Switzerland, which lately was a music that was not so important in Switzerland. Kind of missing, so you guys yeah. are like bringing it back. Exactly. Cool. So, um, background. I mean, what kind of music did you? I mean, it's it's five individuals. So, of course, what kind of music did? Well, we'll go around the table. What kind of music did you grow up with? Hard rock. Hard rock. Yeah, straight hard rock. ACDC, Rose Tattoo. Okay. And Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Cool. Irish music. Irish music. The that goes with your red hair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? All right. Old style. Old style. What's what's what's? Hard rock. Old school classic rock. Yeah. All right. So who was your influence? Who was your major influence? The, 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 what? Exodus. Exodus. Okay. Exodus. That's one that with the, the hand in the air. Oh, okay. The fist. Three dance, three walk. CCR. Three chords that made a million. Yes. All right. <laughs> But three chords is I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit different because yeah. I like many, many way of music, many styles, uh, reggae, classical, uh, but particularly I like the soul. Soul music? <laughs> yeah, okay. with some piquet and uh, all the... Soul and stacks. <coughs> cool stuff. Musical info that blues background. So. You guys are, are trying to do this, this I mean, it's, it's coming across, this, this southern rock kind of uh, influence. What, what was the, the, the impetus that made you guys want to go in that direction? Uh, I would say that uh, mostly Fred and I has, have a really strong hard rock background. Yeah. So we were writing music like more straight, let's say, Australian rock. Australian rock. And uh, then Mark came along. And uh, he has some tonal qualities in his voice that allowed, allows us to, to bring back a bit more the blues in it and the southern rock side. I would say that we went more in this direction because of the vocals, mostly. And actually we really liked it. I mean, it's a bit new for us to do that. And, uh, it's, it's a cool direction. Do you try to go, yeah, you try to go for like some dirty vocals? Yeah. Uh, you're, no, like, you're like digging I, for some I, dirty vocals? I'm not trying to. No? Okay. I, I'm making it natural. Okay. It's natural for me. Because I, I like this, this type of voices and uh, I, I like this way to sing. Uh, yeah. It, it's very I, I've never I've never worked on this way. Right. It's very... Uh, no, basically he's lying. Because <laughs> when we, we write the song, basically we say, okay, sing like that. And we say like, sing like the Halloween singer. You know, but he always like to do differently than we said. So we say, okay, sing like Bruce Dickinson. 
Uh -huh. And then, boom, he brings the, the thousand rock workers. <laughs> it's the way it works. So I can, I can picture Never you. tell the truth to a singer. <laughs> to a singer? <laughs> Never tell the truth. God forbid, don't tell the truth. Lie to me. <laughs> Lie to me, that's one of the songs in the album. We'll get to that in a second. But um, I, I picture, I mean, listening to the album, I, I can see myself, because I'm, I mean, I ride motorcycle myself, but I could picture uh, you guys riding motorcycle. How many of you guys actually have a motorcycle license? Only the less rocker one. Only the, <laughs> the least rocker here has a motorcycle license. Yeah, the, so, the soul guy. No, the soul guy. You have, you don't do. Have no, you have a motorcycle but you, license, but you don't I ride. Don't uh, he, he was used to ride uh, some motorcycles, but now he's getting old. <laughs> So, um, let's have a, a look at, at the, the songs on the album, and um, maybe we can have like a little anecdote or maybe a story, a background about every song. Yeah. Alright, let's see, uh, we'll start with the first track, Muddy In My Head. Somebody have a story to that song? Well, it was a song written by... Fred? Fred. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, basically he was listening to many Waters at home. And uh, then he had a the point idea is, for the main riff of the song. And then he thought about telling a story about someone on the road listening to Muddy Waters. Uh -huh. And then ending by seeing Muddy Waters on stage. And then there's the idea of he has muddy in his head. You know, muddy in his head. He's listening to Muddy Waters, but he also has some dark ideas in his mind. And, Ooh, you know, but Muddy Waters make him feel good. It was his idea, basically, because he likes Muddy Waters a lot. Some, yeah. some dirty blues, no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, backwater. Of course, we shot the video for it today, and that's going to be a great, but what's the story? You got maybe a, well, you got to say the story before, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a story, uh, I, 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 I like poker. I like poker. Poker, okay. Yeah. I'm great. Uh, poker gamer, but only for pleasure because I don't have money <laughs> to. You're a poor poker player. Yeah, <laughs> very poor poker. I'm so gambler. it means that he's a bad poker poker player. Okay, no, why no, it's no, no. Why he's no. Poor. I'm That's very right. good poker player, but I know I'm a gambler. Okay. And so I don't, I, don't, I can't play because I don't have money to be a gambler. <laughs> and that's why I, I would like to to make a song about a, a poker a poker game uh, with with a guy uh, who is a, a very good player and who come in a very very nowhere place yeah. and in the backwater in, in the backwater in, in the backwater and thinks and he's gonna rule them all yeah and he find he find four guys who's playing and the four guys say, come on, come on, play with us. Come and on. obviously the and, old and four guys said, are a lot smarter than him. And he's, he, he's saying, oh, I'm, I'm going to win all the air. Uh -huh. he, he lose. He, he walks away with his shorts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Um, hey man, that sounds like a CCR song, you know? Hey yeah. man. <laughs> I don't know, just the, yeah. just the title. Oh, yeah. But, but then, yeah, it's uh, the story about someone in jail. In jail? Yeah, yeah. and uh, that. He's making a loan. Yeah, he, he's all alone in the jail. He's lost, and he doesn't know when he will go out of jail, when he will be released, and he's kind of losing himself, basically. Uh -huh. So that's the story of the song. But why? The ID came, I don't know, I think yeah. it was more like we yes. had the ID for the song, the, all the musical part, and then the, the lyric just sounded good, basically. Uh -huh. was, the starting point, point was there, just something that sounded good. And then, yeah, got yeah, that, that uh, chorus, you know, hey man, hey man, and just thinking in your head, basically. All right. Um, That's the idea, but there's not a real story behind it, uh, why we wrote that song, except that we like the music, basically. Okay. Looking for the thrill. Uh, what kind of thrill are you guys looking for? This is a song about the thrill. Yeah, it's about the audience. No, when you go to, to, to see a band that you love, huh? no, you, you're in the audience and waiting for the thrill. You know? The high. Yeah, because the, your 
your band is coming on stage and uh -huh. you're ready to, to sing along with the band and to have a good time with the band. That's your musical high. Exactly. So we were like, from the, the audience scene. point of view, basically. Uh -huh. So, next track, Moving Like a Reptile. Does that have anything to do with the cover? <laughs> no. No, this is a... Yeah, it's, a it's a sex song. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sex song. A sex song? Is, yeah. I don't even want to think what the reptile is. No. Uh, he, he, uh, well, he's just talking he just, about he a just, hooker. He's just, he's just thinking, when he wrote this song, he's just thinking about a girl uh, around the whole dance. Whole dance? Yeah. yeah. And she's, mo she's moving, moving like, like a reptile. reptile. Oh uh, yes, I can, I can, I can, I can picture, <laughs> I can picture that. I can picture that. <laughs> and it's all, you know, that's, it, it's basically the softer song of the record, yeah. and it there's more there's a kind of sensual vibe in it, you know, the hooker dancing. Can picture it. Ooh, uh, I'm just curious what you guys are gonna bring on stage for that song. <laughs> a, pole, a pole dance, but the drummer's gonna dance around <laughs> it. Um, Lie to me is, is to me a single in itself. What's the story behind it? This is uh, this is sorry about about my brother. Brother, my brother is a. Uh, Junkie. Okay. Um, he's in a in a center for uh, 20 years now. Right. And I I, have, I want to 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 see on the side of a junkie who is going every day every day to to do. What what he, he must to have is is uh, big shot, is big sticks, yeah. and, and what and what is uh, the, the misery and the, the hopeless of this guy? That's that's a that's a, that's a sad issue in itself, but it's uh, it's done well. It doesn't come across in the song in that way. But, but pretty tough lyrics. Yeah, say. definitely. Yeah. I think maybe it's the. And, and uh, the lie to me is that the drug is speaking to him. Like, uh, right. he, he is speaking to, to, to the drug. Lie to me. Make, make me. make me believe I'm alive, uh -huh. but not. Yeah. Yeah, probably and finally I'm there. In that song are the, the most, uh, let's say, ser serious lyrics. It's very personal. Uh, with a, something dark theme. Yeah. You know, yeah. Sad. It's a bit sad, but it, it's not about complaining. It's more about trying to understand what's going on in, in, in the junkie's head, in the junkie's mind. And more trying to, like, having the picture of it, more than judging it or, uh, yeah. no. So, the next track, The Duel. Does that have anything to do with the guns? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah, yeah. This it's is like, a story about the duel. Oh, no, 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 basically, <laughs> we wrote it because we hopefully will have it in a western, oh. western movie. You know? Yeah, That's pure ma marketing. They don't, make too many, they, don't, they don't make too many. They don't make too many westerns today. Yeah, they don't make too many songs like that today. No, they don't. Marketing. Marketing. What? No, it's Take a, a hint. pure commercial song. You know. <laughs> no, but it, and probably it's it's like the. Me, Maybe the heaviest song of the record, yeah. you know, slow tempo, quite heavy, uh, big blues riffs, spacey guitar solos. Uh, and this, this is what I am I'm, I'm kind of, uh, when I'm hearing the music. Brutal right. vocals. Brutal vocals. Cool. Rock and roll devil. My goodness. So are we going into heavy metal here? No. No. no this is straight ACDC stuff. Oh, you know, okay. Like just, uh, well, this when you have that, that kind of track, right? You you need to have rock and roll in it. You need to have devil. When well, basically it's it's talking about uh, musicians on on the road. Okay. You know, uh, you're on tour day after day in your in your tour bus, backstage, booze, chicks. You know, all that can happen to a musician on the road. 
and uh, he's just telling that story in a funny way. Okay. Like that. The trappings of touring. Yeah, but uh, yeah. you know, in, yeah. it's like yeah. it's <laughs> it's tough. It's not right to do it, yeah. but it's cool to do it. <laughs> yeah, selling your soul for rock and roll. Exactly. Ride on wild horses. It sounds like a stone. Like what's that song from the Stones? Wild horses. Wild yeah. horses. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's it's a song about a hobo. A hobo. Yeah. The one I guess goes around the states uh, on a train. We, we have just imagined uh, an Indian hobo. An Indian hobo. Yeah, okay. in uh, New York or San Francisco right. or something like that. And, and wants to go back to his roots, basically. Yeah. So and he wants to ride on the uh, wild horse. Yeah. And he's yes, uh, dying on the on the streets. Right. So the song is, you, you, uh, he's dying on the street and he's thinking uh, what, 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 what he wants to do at this moment. To go back on a plane yeah. and yeah. This is the, tame a wild horse. The yeah. serious explanation, but the real explanation is that <laughs> basically we wanted to do the song Ride On from ACDC, right. but we also wanted to do the song Wild Horses from the Stones. Stones. <laughs> so we <laughs> said, okay, as we are right not talented <laughs> as those guys, let's do a blend of those two songs and let's ride on Wild Horses. We tried wild, down, uh, wild, wild horses ride on, but I think it doesn't sound right. That would have been something from the doors. But anyways, <laughs> that's another story. Um, born for the rhythm. Yeah, it's telling the story about a drummer that uh, lives in a really small place. No future, nothing, but he's a king of the drums, you know. And uh, he decided to leave his hometown and Take to go to play with the big cats and uh, be the best player in the world. He's going to join the hobo and, and build a band together. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And play on a horse. <laughs> Who knows? And yeah, it's just the story about, you know, the, the dream of being a rock star. Maybe. Uh, okay. or, and, but we didn't find the right drummer to do it. Okay. So... You don't have to do. So you the song be, uh, makes no sense. Best. <laughs> No, and uh, it was also, you know, I'll bring back a bit of slide guitar in it and some southern rock scene. Give it some you southern know, boogie. Yeah, but with a hard rock vibe in it too, uh -huh. you know, something a bit, let's say, we tried to blend between like straight hard rock, like 80s hard rock, no. and something more Bayou style. We tried that, I don't know if... We nailed it. We'll see. Audience okay. will decide. Um, freedom ride. Does that have anything to do with motorcycles? No, no. It talks about the freedom rider in the U.S. Uh, during the segregation period. So basically, black people, uh, sons of uh, slaves and stuff, uh -huh. uh, that were living on the um, North America, uh, that wanted to go back to South. You know, the South the States. And the late uh, 1800s. But it was really tough because of the Ku Klux Klan and right. stuff like that. So they put together what they called uh, the Freedom Ride. So big buses with all those people inside and trying to travel all around the uh, state. Oh, that was, that was the, the late 50s, early 60s. Yeah, 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 yeah. black and white people uh, together in yeah. the same bus. Okay. To, to yeah, it's a to political to song. You know, even when you play hard rock, maybe sometimes to have a serious topic might, uh -huh. might be nice. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Last track on the album, Never Be Down. Uh, that's that's pretty much a philosophy, eh? Never be down. Never yeah, be this down. is because we will never be down. Well, that's good. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> but the, the idea was born. Uh, because we, we have a friend of ours that uh, runs a music club and uh, he had a lot of troubles with the authority and the police wanted to close his place for uh, stupid noisy, issues noisy reasons. and uh, this is our way to say even if you want to close the live venues where rock and roll can live even if you close them, all the bands and the people that are on the rock side will never be down. That's the idea as behind the lyrics. As long as never be down. As, as long as, as the, the people want it, even without the places, the bands will be there playing record, even on the street. Mm -hmm. 
it's the story of the soul. And, and we'll never be done. <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably the story of the whole record. Yeah. Oh, and then light. there was light. Yeah, God is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So uh, we just lost BB King a couple of weeks ago. Uh, yeah. Did he have any kind of influence on you guys? Yeah, on the guitar playing for sure. Yeah. And uh, how to be a great showman? Yeah. When you are standing? No, he's not standing. Fat. He's like, oh, well, okay. He <laughs> wasn't fat. He wasn't well, fat. he was uh, just you know. He was sit, stately. You yeah. Sit down and just play the blues yeah. and. You tell a story to the uh -huh. audience. Yeah, like him, like and Wendy Johnny Hooker, like legend. And uh, always the same music. Real music, no compromise. Yeah. So we lost uh, one of yeah. the greatest. Definitely. All right. Is there a, what would be like the ultimate gig for you guys? You know, would be like some people say yeah. Wembley, other people say a Red Rocks in Colorado, to, or to play, to play, or, or to, to England. Attempt. Yeah. What would be like the ultimate gig for you guys? Every gig is awesome. <laughs> That's a damn good answer. Um, I, I'm saying, Amber, yeah. if you have 10 persons, or 10,000 persons in the place, the work is the same. The work is to give some pleasure. Yeah, he said, some fun. he's saying that, but he don't know what it's like to play in front of 10,000 people. <laughs> Uh -huh. But in front no, of 10, we're I, used to... The most no. I've made uh, is, is, is 2,000. No, I would say the ultimate gig. Well, it's difficult to... Well, I mean, Royal Albert Hall, you know, something like that. <coughs> I would say the Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, that, uh, that right. yeah, Central Park. And Led Zeppelin opening for us. <laughs> yeah. would be, okay. That <laughs> would be the ultimate gig, definitely. <laughs> yeah, Madison Square Garden is good. Great yeah, place. so... Um, you guys are uh, the band has been together now for almost three years. Uh, what would you what would what would be success for you guys? I mean, success success is always measured in different ways. But what would be then what would then success mean to you guys? I think success for us would be to keep doing what we are doing. So we're still healthy. We still have ideas. Uh, and uh, we still have the opportunity